Everyone is welcome here, it's time to make new friends. Fill your Glen Carrot. Share a dram with the spirit of Edmonton. Slantcha! Slantcha, and good evening, whiskey brothers, whiskey sisters, and whiskey friends. And welcome to episode 79 of the Canadian Whiskey Journeys Whiskey Review. I'm Dolph. I'm the creator of the Canadian Whiskey Journey on the Spirit of Edmonton on social media platforms. And I'm your host tonight. So uh, if you haven't been here for a while or this is your first time, I should first say welcome. But you should know that if I'm reviewing something like, like this one right here, it's because I like it. And sometimes I like everything about the whiskey. Sometimes it's just portions or sections of the whiskey. So the nose and the finish, or the nose and the palate, and the palate and the finish, or the 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 mouthfeel. All these things come into play when I bring a whiskey forward. I don't focus on the negative, really. I try to find something about the whiskey I like. If there's nothing I can find that I like or I find it repulsive, you'll never see it on here. Uh, it would be fun to slander stuff a little bit, but that's not what I'm about. But anyways, we are continuing our Canadian whiskey journey. I showed it to you already, but this one right here with Canadian Club 15 Invitation Series. and Well, the edition number one, and it's a sherry cast finish. Now, it doesn't say sherry cast finish. It just says sherry cast, but in French it says Fudzerez et Fini Un. So it's finished. And I don't know how long it's finished either, but... We'll try to get that information one day. Nobody that I know of right now can get me that information, including Davin de Carjumeau at the moment. So uh, I tried this whiskey for the very first time. And hey, Stephen, how are you doing? I tried at the Banff Whiskey Experience uh, the end of November, beginning of December. And if you're anything like me, when you go to a whiskey festival, soon all the whiskeys meld together. They do throughout the night you have a lot you remember what you like you remember what you don't like but i i remember very little about the specifics and uh yeah so so i wanted to try it again so the edmonton launch of the third book of devin and kajimul's canadian whiskey book that one right there beautiful book the uh, essential portable expert again edition number three look at it right there it gave me a great reason uh to pick some of my Canadian, favorite Canadian whiskeys and a couple that I've been meaning to try over the last little while. And and Davin was, of course, entertaining, informative, and we all had a great Sunday afternoon. And I've, I've got a couple pictures, so let's let's throw out a couple pictures that I have there. Uh, on my way to work, so he's just listening. Well, you listen away, buddy, and I'm glad you're here. So let's, I just want to throw some pictures up there. Here's Here's Davin signing the books, and he did that for everyone that was at the tasting last night. And, of course, I'm going to get a picture of me talking to him because, well, I find uh, I want it. I want those things. I like the signatures on the book. I like getting the pictures with the people. It's just what I do. And uh, I don't think I'm alone. But anyways, again, gave me a great reason to pick some whiskeys. And this is this room right here is the first of the whiskeys that I'm reviewing from that launch tasting because it surprised the most people. Uh, and I'll admit that I and many of my Alberta Scotch Society peeps uh, are, are snobs. We're whiskey snobs. And that's okay. You can accept it. It's fine. But especially when it comes to whiskeys uh, that you've had as a young adult. I, I was going to say adolescent. I don't want to say that. Like 18, 19, 20. Young adulthood. This was the whiskey that I'd have. Ryan Coke. So you don't really go back to it all that often. You have to have a reason to it. And I'm glad I did. That There's a good reason to come back to this. And I like it. And you're going to hear a little bit more about it. So uh, let's let's start with the nose. Well, no, let's start with a little bit of information. It's 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 chill filtered. It's clearly colored because it was just finished in 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 the barrel, and we don't know how long, but it didn't get that color from being finished. So we'll accept that. Uh, we might not like that it's chill filtered and colored, but we'll accept it for now. And we know because Canadian Club, it's a corn forward whiskey that has some rye and some barley in it. Well, the influences of both. And you can taste those influences. 
but we don't know to what degree each one is. And I've tried to inquire through so many people to find out what what the combinations are, the percentages. I just can't get it. Their their lips are they're, they're shut a little bit with that. But that's what happens with with the big ones. With with ADL, it happens with these guys. It happens with uh, well all of them, unless you have an in a big in. We're all just guessing. So any other reviews you see online, unless they get the information from some really secretive source, we're all just guessing somehow. But here we go. Let's do the nose. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't say on the bottle, but I'm pretty sure it's Ol Oloroso Sherry. It's not PX because I can pick out PX right away because it tastes like the wine I used to get at church when I was a kid. So I, I've got that flavor emblazoned on my on my memory. But So I'm thinking Oloroso Sherry because of the, the spicy leather. So when I get leather and kind of a spice there and maybe the nutmeg, and my son gave me another one, uh, it, it, it's the shell around the nutmeg, I guess, but that's that's what he equates it to. But leather notes, and beyond this, caramel sweetness and a fruit. Now, with the fruits, I, I've been going back and forth, and I can taste the fruits better than the nose on this. So I, I'm just thinking it, it, it's a dark stone fruit and probably dried prunes in my mind right now. But it's got a very nice nose. And like I said, people were, were surprised with this whiskey when, when we brought it out. Uh, the Canadian club and with a bunch of snobs, they, they don't like it so much. But it surprised them. It surprised them on the nose. But mace, my wife just said it, it's mace. That's the one that my son was trying to say. So uh, essentially mace is nutmeg, the outer shell of nutmeg and ground up or whichever. But he, he's better at that than I am. All right. So let's go. Uh, palette now. Uh, I thought I just got something else on the nose, but no. I was trying to determine other spices on there. But let's just stick with that. Mm. Just open up the palate a little bit. So the mouth feels first thing I'm doing. And uh, it's 42%. And it's chill filtered. But you still get that corn creaminess. And not, not heavy. Lightly creamy is what I'm going to say. Because... We've had some recently, which just oily and then actually creamy. This is more oily than creamy, I should say. You get that. It's 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 there. It feels good. But if it was non chill filtered, I think it'd feel better. Okay. Uh, let's go in for the flavors now. Caramel sweetness, first thing. And I'm going to focus on the fruit try to pull out those fruits and i said prunes before so i'm going to stick with prunes but i think there's a better one initially i was thinking of the raisins that are the really dark raisins mm. i settle with dates let's just stick with dates prunes dates the dark fruit and uh I get on the nose, I get the leather. On the palate, I don't get leather. I get the fruit that kind of makes me remember. Uh, definitely wood influence. That's the first thing that hits you. All right. Finish. Let's go for the finish. Sweet to heat. And I'm going to say spice before the fruit. Because it, it trails off and then you get that kind of fruity bit. Yeah. We'll do that again. Yeah, definitely sweet to heat. That's that's that that order. And I don't know. Yeah. The fruit at the end sweet to heat and the spice and the fruit kind of mingling together but i think it just trails off with the fruit at the end and i don't know how many of you had these kind of cakes when well i'm an older guy so and my grandmother used to make these cakes but it was just filled with uh 
with with raisins and dark, dark, dark raisins, and it was a really dark loaf. And it was fantastic. They called it tumbler cake. And that's why I get on the end of this. So it's, it's, it's got a nice memory to it for me as well. Uh, yeah. And uh, two other things you should know about this. Uh, one, with the Canadian Whiskey Awards, which Davin initiated, he's a big part of it, and he brings it to the Victoria Whiskey Festival every year. It got the best line extension for this bottle, again, and gold at the Canadian Whiskey Awards, again, for this specific bottle. So it did really well. But it's number one in the series. So um, that, that also brings up the notion. So some people like to collect bottles. And I'm drinking this, but I will collect one. So I'm going to buy one. And whenever there's a series and the sun, they start off well, I will continue the series i will so i don't know how long the series will go but when they had canadian club 40 i bought the 41 42 44 actually no i drank the 40 i can't find the 40 anymore but i bought the 41 42 43 44 45 even though they're 500 bucks now this will cost you 80 bucks get it on sale if you can or join the alberta scott study get 10 or 15 percent different places it'll cost you 80 bucks if you're lucky and I think it's worth it. I it, I think it's worth it to drink. And I think it's worth to share, especially the people that are not into CC anymore. I really think they would like this and it might bring them back into the fold. So that's good. But it's part of a series that I think you really want to kind of plug in on, grab that first one. And uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. So I like just about every part of this except in the non-chill filtered, because I, I do think the mouthfeel could be better if they, they didn't do that. That's my opinion, and I'm just a lowly little guy. Little math teacher drinking some whiskey online. Have a fantastic night, everybody, and sláinte, and we will see you later. Cheers.